Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with Element 3D in After Effects. Let's get started. So friends, welcome back and first step, I want to export my 3D model to Element 3D and I want to export FPX file to OBG. Let's open Blender, click General and click A, select all these elements, delete. Then go to file and go to import. Let's import FPX file and select this FPX file. Let's click import. Okay. And go to again file, export and let's use Wavefront OBJ. Let's click here, change name, sofa and click export OBJ. Okay. So back to After Effects and let's create new composition. Right mouse, new composition, add name, sofa 3D and all settings is enough for my animation, click OK. Then create new solid layer, right mouse, new and solid, add name, element 3D and background, black, click OK and select solid layer, go to FX, video couplet and element. So right now let's scene set up and click import let's select this sofa OBG model and click open don't change any settings and click ok so that's very little let's select this sofa here and go to click normalize size nice ok in this time go to presets and open materials and let's open fabric folder I want to use this material let's select and use for sofa very nice okay so go to create and let's create new plane and move it down go to click scale button and change scale like this okay and in this time go to again presets let's go to stone folder and let's use rough black for plane nice Okay, let's go to click this icon and click show ambient occlusion and close grid. Okay, click here for close this window. Okay, very nice. Select this plane, let's select this rough black and go to diffuse. Let's click here, change UV repeat 5 and this 5. Click OK and normal bump. Let's click here, change 5 and this five click ok okay very nice and let's go to environment and backlight backlight 2k and i want to use this backlight 2k light let's click and click this environment checkbox for see backgrounds okay not bad so select this plane and select move tool let's move to back Okay, that's good. And let's move up this plane like this. Okay, not bad. So click OK and create new camera, right mouse, new and camera. Don't change any settings, click OK and select camera. Let's right mouse, go to camera and create orbit null. For move to anchor point center, hold control, double click this icon. Then click station tool. Okay, so select this element 3D and go to render settings, open physical environment, click show in background and let's open ambient occlusion, click checkbox for enable and change intensity 10. Nice. Close these settings. And select camera, let's open inside, open camera options and click depot field on and blur level 200. Let's change quality quarter and aperture, let's change 105. Let's select this null object. I will make camera movements with this null object. But first select this camera, press C. We can use camera controls with these buttons. I will use C for shortcut. Okay, let's press C and zoom to object and 
Let's click Station 2, select is new, press R and make X rotation. Let's move to right here and change rotation like this. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's good. So, go to here and let's change focus distance like this. Okay, very nice. We can change aperture for more blur. Let's see full. Okay, not bad. Let's change this aperture 125. Okay, very nice. I like it. So, change quality quarter. Let's see. Okay, and in this time, let's select this null and hold shift press P. And let's make new passing keyframe. Go to here. And let's move to back a little bit. Okay, very nice. And we can change focus distance like this. Let's see full. Okay, looks good. Let's close some settings. So friends, I want to add some lights for realistic scenes. Let's right mouse, new and lights and light type, use spot, color white and click OK. So go to view and change two views. Okay, and change active camera top. Okay, and let's move the back like this and select the Z axis move to up and move to back let's try move to down a little bit okay let's move to right and this move to down Okay, so change view 1 and this active camera. Okay, looks good. Let's select this spotlight, let's see the difference. Okay, let's open light options and change color blue. Let's change quality quarter. And let's try change yellow light. Okay, let's back to blue and change intensity like this. Okay, and let's go to first second and make intensity keyframe, change keyframe like this, and go to here. Right now, let's change 110. Let's see. Okay, that's good. So, let's close settings and select is null, press U, select keyframes, make easy, go to graph editor and select this graph. Let's make graph like this. Okay. Very really nice. So thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.